What's going on guys, AD here. Welcome back to more Kenshi Iron Man. In the previous episode, we uh, we made our way from the hub um, all the way over here to Admag, but before that we tried to attack some bone dogs and unfortunately Apple, one of our other members, was captured and sent to Rebirth. However, uh, she escaped Rebirth and headed her way over the mountains here to the Flotsam safe house, house where she is kind of hanging out right now. Looks like I've just been released from prison as well. But uh, yeah, we're going to have Apple just kind of hang out here for now and uh, rest up. Our other group is out here just kind of camping out while I tried to go and uh, steal some things in Admag and got sent to prison. But apparently I'm no longer in prison anymore, which is good. Um, I only had a four-hour sentence for trespassing. They didn't actually catch me in the act, so uh, we'll see if maybe we can steal some more stuff uh, and acquire some better equipment. So if you guys want to see more Kinchi Iron Man in the future, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new episodes. And uh, let's go ahead and get uh, get on with this episode. We're actually going to try to acquire some more gear and uh, see if we can train up some of our men as well. Um, uh, let's go back over here to our group and let's dismantle this fire. Yeah, we did get some food, so these guys aren't starving, which is good. So let's go ahead and dismantle that. And yeah, we're going to head back in to Admag. And I think we can get some training um, by uh, entering one of the uh, one of the faction buildings. I think you can actually enter probably this building here. I think is set to the public. So if you actually click on a door, uh, it'll tell you if it's open to the public or not. So that means that you can go in it. So other doors like, say, this one here... It says it's private, so if you try to go in there, uh, even if the door is open and it's set to private, you'll be trespassing. So you want to be just careful of that. Um, if you're new to the game and just trying to, you want to be careful what doors you're going, uh, what buildings you're going into, because you could be uh, breaking the law. <laughs> I'm also, uh, I kind of positioned my microphone a little bit differently, uh, so let me know what the audio sounds like if you guys like it better than. The last episode, um, trying to get a better position uh, for my for my voice. Yeah, they got training dummies up here, so we should be able to practice on these. And these are great because your skill max skill level is 15. So let's go ahead and get everybody uh, training. Oh, we gotta get Yeflin a better weapon. I forgot I sold Yeflin's weapon the other day in the last episode. But yeah, this is a really good spot. You can train in here for free and you can get your skills up to uh, level 15. Now, this only increases your uh, melee attack skill. It doesn't increase your weapon skills so even if you are using a katana, it will only increase your melee attack. So that's what uh, training dummies are good for. You actually have to use those weapons out in the field to get uh, experience with them. But if you take a look at melee attack, uh, it's your generally, uh, general me melee combat skill. So this is the frequency of attacks, chance of attacks not getting blocked, uh, and so forth. So definitely a good skill to train up at the very beginning and I think there's many there's plenty of faction towers like this uh, in other cities so you don't have to come over here to Admag. you can go to other cities as well um, let's see meanwhile that's the faction AQ, uh, HQ here damn this guy's got 96 attack holy shit He's one of the five invincibles. Okay, I need to get a uh, skeleton repair kit. They cost a lot though, I, I kind of want to steal one instead. But um, it looks like they beefed up the security, because look at this. There's, there's three guards now. 
in this uh, spot. I always like to steal from this building. Let's take a look at the uh, the weaponsmith. He's not too uh, too guarded. But uh, Admag doesn't really have uh, a lot of variety of weapons. They have pretty much two-handed weapons, mostly. So you're not going to be able to find like katanas and stuff like that. So you have to travel to different different locations to di get different types of uh, equipment. Authentic skeleton repair kit. Oh. Okay, this is like a mini-sized uh, repair kit, I guess. It's got a hundred charges. Instead of 500 charges. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I mean, this is a little bit cheaper. Hmm. I kind of need to repair my arm. Well, I'm going to buy one. Glorious holy map. I don't think we need those. We could get some backpacks and stuff. I kind of want to steal from this shop. Alright, let me trade this over here with Hobbs or uh, Darth. I think Darth has all my stuff. Alright, hold on to that, Darth. Let me go back. I'm gonna do some stealing. So, I think what you need to do is get this guy's attention and then run upstairs. And then, I think he tries to follow you. Sometimes. Eh, it didn't work that time. Alright, anyway. Uh, he can't, he can't see me. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to steal something here. Try to get my skills up. Nice. I just stole a med kit. And stealing, you want to start small. Start stealing things that are, uh, where you have like a 50% or greater chance. So. Normally, you have a 50-50 chance at the beginning until you get your skills up. You can see my uh, thievery is at 8 now, so it's going up really quickly just by stealing, like, one thing. Um, but, yeah, we just got to try to get away with stealing a few things at a time, and we'll get the stealth up. All right. Yeflin's at 12 melee attack. We've got 8. Darth is at 10. Mr. Killer at 9. We're probably not going to go all the way to 15 because it does take a while. So we're going to go ahead and switch out. Crazy, We'll get Crazy Lizard here. And uh, we'll get Hobbs up here. And uh, I'm going to get, I'm going to go up here as well and get some training in. So that way everybody has at least 10 melee attack. That'll be pretty good. Apple's just kind of hanging out over here. We're going to get her moving. She's got uh, a lot of stuff that she looted, which is great. She's looking pretty boss. I really like this outfit. Just kind of looks like a ninja, just with the stuff she's got. Kind of need some uh, shoes or something. Probably going to be a while before we come back here. I'll take that. Let's... Look at uh, look at these barrels here. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything good except for a monk robe. All right, yeah, I think we're good. All right, so let's get uh, let's get Apple moving. Now Apple is really far away from the group. Our main group is over here in Admag. She is all the way up here in the Float Stop Safe House. So um, I think what we'll do is maybe. Uh, recruit a few more people uh, over here at the Plotsam Village, and I think we can. Well, we have eight thousand, so that might be enough to to get maybe one or two people. Just have to be careful over here because there's usually uh, some iron spiders uh, roaming around this area, which are they're pretty difficult enemies. Especially early on in the game, you don't want to encounter one. Um, they'll crush you and kill you. 
so you got to be careful of them. But they're pretty slow, so if you have decent athletic skill, you can kind of outrun them. The other thing we have to worry about is cannibals, though. And they will definitely catch Apple, since she's not uh, running really fast right now. Her athletics is only 16. But uh, you can see there's cannibals right over there. So we're going to have to just carefully ignore them <laughs> and get to the Floatsom Village. The Floatsom Village is over here to the northeast. So we just got to go a little bit north. Alright, we finally discovered the village. The uh, Floatsom Village is right here. Kind of, uh, let's see, World's End is over here on this mountain, so it's just to the west of World's End. Uh, we haven't discovered World's End yet, but it's literally right up there on the mountain, so there's a trail just going right up there. Um, World's End is a really cool town. I love that town. But uh, I also like the village here. You can find some nice recruits, and you can also ally with the Floatsom Ninjas if you'd like which uh, we probably will do so that we can utilize our training facilities. And yeah, we gotta talk to this guy. I'm sorry, my sister, but I can't let you leave this place alive without knowing who you are and where you come from. This is private land. What are you doing here? Um... Uh, I'm a traveler seeking rest and supplies. Swear to me, swear to Okrin on Phoenix's life that you are no more than a traveler, that you have not been sent by the Holy Nation. So if you f if you go to the Floatsom safe house and you read the um, you read the note that is left by the Floatsom leader Maul, you'll know that it's uh, he's kind of asking he's kind of tricking you when he says this. Swear to me, swear to Okrin. Well, you don't want to swear to Okrin because that's a holy... That's what the paladins believe in. So you want to say Okrin is no god of mine or never. I guess that will do. Because if you had chosen one, then they would attack you. Because you would be... Uh, they don't like the holy nation. Alright, so anyway. We're free to go in now. And, uh, yeah, he's kind of, like, following me around. I'm not sure if we want to go... Do we want to war the, the Holy Nation right away? I, it would be good to have some Floatsom allies. And one of the things that I've noticed is that the if you do ally with the Floatsom ninjas, um, you'll see them a lot up in this area. And they do... They do travel up and around here, up to the fishing village. Um, so they're they're actually their patrolling routes are a lot further now, because uh, before they just used to patrol kind of like this area, and now they patrol like all of this. So they've kind of expanded a little bit. So they are around basically to help you out if you need it um, in more places, which is kind of nice. And there's really no reason not to ally with the Floatsom Ninjas unless you like the Holy Nation. <laughs> I don't like those pagans. Alright, where's Maul at? I can never find her when I come in here. There she is. Nowhere in this world is safe. People are either trying to burn us at the stake or they're trying to eat us alive. But at least the cannibals are good for one thing. Target practice. <laughs> Target practice is all fun and games so you find yourself boiling in a cooking pot. Well, you're no fun, are you? They try stuffing me in a cooking pot and they're gonna find out that I bite back hard. Anyway, you're here in my space, so I guess you want something. Um, yeah. You can ask her a bunch of other stuff, I probably won't go through it, but... Uh, let's see, can I join the Floatsom Ninjas? <laughs> well, in a world of fire-happy religious zealots and flesh-eating nudists, we can never have too many allies. Swear your allegiance to me and your defiance to the Phoenix, and I'll make sure the ninjas are always ready to protect you. Together, we can take down the Holy Nation. I swear my allegiance to the Floatsom. Uh, otherwise, you could um, swear your allegiance to the Phoenix. 
and uh, fight them. And then you could turn in Maul to the Holy Nation if you wanted uh, for a bounty and to get positive relations with them, I think. So, but anyway, we're going to go um, and swear fealty to the Floatsum Ninjas. Don't let me down, sister. Wow, Maul looks different this time around. Alright, so now you can see everybody is green to us. Holy Nation is hostile. So when you ally, they become green on your map, but everybody else turns red, apparently. Except the towns aren't red to us yet because we don't have... Actually, they should be red, I thought. Well, they will be red to you eventually. Kind of like Rebirth. There's Reva. A woman from the godless lands, huh? Don't get many of those wash up here. Uh, hopefully you'll talk more sense than everyone else around here. Sure, talk away. I learned the hard way that there is no god, but a lot of the refugees here, they just can't let go of their belief in Okran. Even after Okran betrayed us all, abandoned us to be left at the mercy of man. I just can't live amongst this nonsense any longer. I despise it. <laughs> Alright, you sound good. You're hired. <laughs> oh, crap. I don't get to rename her. So, anyway, I guess we'll just have Reva and Apple for now. Just start training. They'll be in here for a while doing their thing. Meanwhile, back here at uh, AdMag, we're still doing some training. I'm going to try and steal some more stuff. Maybe get thrown in prison. Work on my uh, stealth while everybody's still swinging away their swords. All right, she doesn't see me. Pick lock success. Oh, 35% though to get some of this stuff. Skeleton repair kit is 35%. I'm going to get caught stealing some of this. Alright, let me go for the plate jacket and see what happens, I guess. Alright, hold on. Everybody else, we need to have them go into hold mode and block. So, the reason I'm doing this is in case I get... Uh, I started... Um, I'm going to go hold and block as well. Uh, I don't want to attack them. Um, and if they attack me because they catch me stealing, I don't want my other guys to attack or anything. So, um, that way hopefully they don't get in a fight and it's just me that goes to prison. So that way I don't have to have everybody, like, leave the, the area. Alright, let's go ahead and see what happens here. Um, I guess I'll take the plate jacket. Oh, shit. I got caught stealing. I get. I keep getting caught. Oh, I took it. Okay, I grabbed both of those. Okay, I'm committing a crime, but oh shit, balls! Here comes the guard. Six seconds, committing crime. Okay, he didn't catch me. What happened? This guy is not going to trade with me anymore. I think. I'm not sure, but I just took two of those uh, plate jackets, which are really freaking good. I love them. So let me uh, let me trade with Darth. Got us some armor, buddy. But uh, yeah, let's see. You're gonna have to hold on to my stuff. All right, let's take a look at my uh, skills now. My uh, my stealth is 24, thievery 21. Holy hell, it went up like, I don't know, 16 points, something like that. 
Kind of funny I can pick the safe from here, but I'm going to try to open this one. 40%. And I think it's 40% because it's uh, closer to that guard. So the further away you are from somebody, uh, the better chances you have, I think, of stealing those items. Alright, so we're going to go down here and try to steal, I guess we'll... Try to go with, uh... Got some armor plating. Splint kit. Steel bars. Armor plating I can sell. Basic first aid kit. Uh, let me get that armor plating. All right, I got a couple splint kits. I got cactus rum. Well, we can make a little bit of money there with that. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Holy hell, how did he not see me? How did he not see me? That was... He went and opened the door. I don't know. He, he must have... He had to have seen me. Wow, we got lucky there. Got really lucky. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, well, we're not going to be able to sell this stuff here anyway. I think we kind of overstayed our welcome, but I did get my thievery up to 23, stealth to 38, which is great, and lockpicking up to 14 already. So, not bad. Alright, anyway, I think we've overstayed our welcome here. Now, I, I don't think that shopkeeper will sell to me, though. Let, let's go back real fast. Let me just, let me just see... Let's just see what happens, because I think he knows that I stole from him, but he won't. I never forget a thief. Leave. Right. So this guy will not sell us stuff anymore. So we might be able to, um, if we use a disguise or something, maybe we could buy from him again. But since he caught us, and the guards didn't catch us, though... He, he saw us, though, so now he's not going to sell. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind if you're stealing and you get caught. You you kind of ruin your reputation with that vendor. Now, keep in mind that when I re-import uh, the game after new updates, it will reset that setting. But when the game is finally released, the, uh, that's going to be crucial um, because you won't usually be importing... So, um, yeah, you won't be, uh, you won't be importing after release, so you won't, um, you'll, you want to be more careful at, like, whose reputations, uh, you tarnish. Alright, I think we're gonna head east over here, back towards Squin, Way Station, see if we can fight some, uh, um, lower level enemies, some dust bandits or something, acquire some gear and weapons, because uh, apparently we s <laughs> I sold all of ours. Alright, uh, looks like we, oh, yeah, looks like we got some hungry bandits here. Alright, we're almost to the hub, we're right outside, and we've got some enemies we can fight, perfect. Uh, we should be able to take them even though we don't have weapons with everybody. Who cares? Attack them all. <laughs> take them all out. We've got Yeflin with... Is it Yeflin? Or... Oh, my, uh... My party's got mixed up. Where are the crossbow? Oh, Crazy and Night Fury. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh... Let me move them around... There we go. Alright. We'll have Crazy and Night Fury uh, do the range stuff. Everybody else move in. Try not to uh, hit us, guys. <laughs> hey, they're actually doing pretty good with those little crossbows. Oh, nice hit, Mr. Killer. 
<laughs> I'm over here swinging away. <laughs> Seven damage. Yeah, I'll work on the unarmed for a little while. Until I get a weapon. Hobbs is... About to go down, I think. There we go. Oh, good job. Uh, good dodge. Come on, Darth. Don't take that. Alright. Crazy has switched over to his katana now. Oh, shit. What was that? Oh, my God. What? <laughs> run, everybody, run. Get out of here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, everybody get out. Holy bone dogs. Alright, we're gonna have to come back for Hobbs, but hell yeah, get out of there. How, how bad is Hobbs? Negative 19. They're all chasing me, too. Oh my goodness, man. Come on, keep going. How are these guys catching up? <laughs> Darth is limping. He just... He's limping faster than they can run. <laughs> oh, Mr. Killer went down. Come on, man. Get up. Alright, everybody get running up there. Alright, Mr. Killer, do you have a med kit? No, you don't. Ah, uh, does Hobbs? He does. Oh, we gotta get Hobbs. We gotta have him drop this stuff. Alright, let's run back for Hobbs. And see if you can avoid that. Alright, come on now. How are these guys catching us? As soon as these bone dogs disappear, we're gonna we're gonna kick this guy's ass. He's lucky he's getting free hits. Oh, Hobbs is up. Oh, all right, Mr. Killer. Hobbs is running. All right, get up here. I want to kill these bone dogs. All right, Hobbs. Damn, I want to drop all this loot too. I need that weapon. Grab that. Oh yeah, get that saber. Take that. Alright, keep going guys. There you go. We got we stall him with the bone dog. He's gonna kill that guy. Ugh, he's still chasing us. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Come on, guys. Alright, Mr. Killer is... He's got bone dogs hot on his trail. <laughs> Gotta have everybody run fast. Sometimes I forget that setting down there. If you have everybody running at the same speed... Sometimes it doesn't matter, but... Oh, my goodness. Oh. Night Fury, just just get back. Just get out of there. Because you're going to need to heal everyone. I can't have you going... Oh, my... Alright, go to the bar. Hopefully they help you there. I think we're all dying down here. Ugh, what is going on here? Wow, where's the guards at? Oh, Jesus. Wow, they have... There's no protection at the hub anymore. There used to be some guards that would go out there and help. Wow, okay. 
Um, all right, grab a med kit. Where's that bone dog at? We gotta lead him away. Ah, he's coming back this way too. All right, Hobbs. Let's have you trade with Crazy Lizard, and let's give him this stuff so we can sell it. And trade with me. Give me that saber. Alright, you're gonna have to run, man. You're gonna have to lead this thing away. Now, you guys just heal up. Uh, Hobbs will lead this away. Night Fury is alive, and... oh... Night Fury is crippled. Heal yourself. If you can. Alright, run to the uh, ninjas over here. Keep that thing busy. <laughs> While we heal all our people. Alright, Crazy Lizard is down. Alright, let me pick him up. Let me just pick him up. Let's get out of here. Wow, this was this was dangerous, man. Bone dogs are crazy. Especially early on. I feel like they've beefed up the uh the the damage on some of the uh enemies as well. Wow, we got lucky there. We got really lucky. Oh no, here they all come. Everybody get in there. Get inside quickly. I don't think they can go indoors. Come on, Hobbs. Upstairs. Oh my goodness. They're just like coming right into the town. <laughs> they don't even care. Okay, well. One of the important things is getting up your toughness. Um, getting knocked out is really good. Because you want your toughness higher anyway. Um, because it... Uh, it increases your knockout point, so you can take negative, uh, whatever, 25. This guy, Crazy Lizard, can take negative 25 before he gets knocked out. Um, so it's really, it's really important um, because this is what determines whether or not you get back up or not. And early on in the game, you, you really need to get your toughness up to like 40, 50. Um, so that you have some survivability. You can get knocked out a bunch of times before you won't get back up again. But early on in the game, with your toughness so low, um, you get knocked out once and you probably won't get up. Uh, until you get that skill a little bit higher. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have these guys rest. Let's take a look at uh, what's going on back at our other, guy, uh, our other group. Alright, Apple and Reva are training. Apple's melee attack is 14. Reva's at 14 as well. So they're working on their last one, which is actually uh, probably good enough. I really want to get uh, a couple more people on board here uh, before we head out with them, because we're in some dangerous territory. I don't even know if they'll make it back by themselves without uh, another uh, couple more people. So we really need to rely on our other group to make some money. Now we could sell one of these uh, skeleton repair kits and make some money that way. And we might be able to hire on someone. Actually, we could just sell both of them. You know, I think I might just do that. Let's go ahead and just sell both of those skeleton repair kits and see if we can get at least one more person on. Let's see if we can hire two people worth 3,000. Only gonna get to 2200 for it. Damn. Alright, well, we're up to 6,000. It's not bad. Oh, they have black plate jacket. Oh, that's sick. Black plate jacket. Oh, nice. How much are those? 
3,900. And they have black and chain mail. Wow, they have some nice crossbows too. Uh, all right, I think that's good though. We'll uh, see if we can recruit. Okay, so I think Swift is 3,000. There's a couple other people roaming around here. Who's this girl? All right, 3,000. Yeah, why not? Cool, so we can rename these people as well. When we, uh, uh, when we get to somebody that can rename people. So we'll have three recruits here available. All right, let's go ahead and head out. We're gonna go to World's End, I guess, since we're uh, close. Go up there and see what's going on. Yeah, let's check out what kind of uh, robotic limbs we can buy. You can see there's a robotic limb sign now. Oh, I'm an ex-slave. Undiscovered. I look like a slave for 10%. Oh, shit. Yeah, Apple has to be careful because she escaped rebirth, and that takes a long time. 44 hours still remaining, so I gotta not get seen. Oh, wow, look at this. Stealth leg. Stealth, 9%. Swimming, negative 25%. Wow. Thief's arm. Oh, okay. So, this doesn't have... This doesn't have a negative penalty to uh, thievery like some of these other arms do. So the thief arm is actually not bad for if you want to do stealth uh, thieving and stuff. Well, they have thieves backpacks here. And then, uh... Oh, this one increases athletics by 1%. That's cool. Uh, as you can see, World's End, you can see so far, we've got a long way to go. we got to go all the way over those mountains. Kind of uh, exposed out here with this group, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on them. Otherwise, we could <laughs> lose them very quickly uh, since we're in Holy Nation territory. Okay, well, our group is in trouble because uh, we just <laughs> ran into escaped servants. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, well, we're gonna keep running. Everybody, just run. And I don't think they'll be able to catch us. Hopefully. I'm not about to fight them though because they, they're a little bit... They're, they're pretty good. They're not bad. And uh, the only person that's got good skills is Reva and Apple. And uh, Pia and Digna are not very good at all right now. So our only option is to run... Traveling light does come in handy from time to time. And if we run into the Holy Nation, that's going to be really interesting. Oh god. Oh damn, we did. Oh, we did. Jesus, we did. Oh no. Everybody run as fast as you can. Oh my god, how did we do that? We ran right into them. Oh no. Where is the other group? Oh, they're fighting them over there. Damn it. How did we run? Oh my god. Alright, Apple. <laughs> you better run. <laughs> Pia is safe because she's got good athletics. 
Digna is down. Oh. Reva, dodge that shit. Oh, no. Come on. Apple, come on. We got this. Pia is safe. It's just Apple that... Oh, my God. Digna, are you up? Digna is... Oh, did she lose her leg? Oh, no. Her leg is hurting. All right, fuck that guy up. Ah! Come on, Reva. Oh no. All right. Damn it! Keep going. Apple is in trouble. Apple's never gonna get away from him. This guy is too fast. All right, hold on. Let's let Pia distract him. We're gonna have to just run. All right, hold on. Dodge that. Ooh. All right, Apple. You're gonna have to uh, drop some stuff, I'm afraid. All right, drop the sleeping bags. All right, hold on. Go back for the sleeping bags. <laughs> Since they gave up. All right, hold on. Wait for Pia. Or uh, meet up with Pia over here. Um, all right, so Reva is down and... Oh. Riva and Digna are both down. Are they gonna... heal them, or what? Doesn't look like it. Alright, we gotta go back for them. Alright, let's see if we can get back to them. First of all, let me have Apple heal heal herself and heal Pia as well, real quick. Alright, now together, let's run back. See if we can uh, heal them at least, so they're not dying. Alright, Digna, why don't you go sneak mode and sneak back this way. How are we doing back here? All right, they're distracted up there, so we we have time. <laughs> oh shit! She lost her leg. <laughs> oh no! Oh shit! She's losing blood fast. Oh my goodness! Wow! She lost her right leg. Oh my god! All right, Pia. Heal up. Oh, shit. Does Reva have a medkit? No. Uh, oh, Apple has him. Alright. Heal up, Reva. Alright, we gotta hurry. Alright, pick up, uh, pick up Digna. Alright, hurry up, Apple. Damn. We gotta heal P uh, Digna. There you go. Alright. Oh, shit. Apple, uh, pick up Reva. Come on, quickly, quickly. There we go. Okay, good. Alright. We are running slow as hell. Because uh, nobody has any strength. Two strength. Digna, or uh, Pia has 22 strength. Wow. Okay. We are going to have to be super, super careful here. 
Um, Digna has lost her leg, though. She's going to need a replacement limb. Alright, so uh, Pia and Apple are both carrying uh, Digna and Riva, and they're just kind of heading heading along the, uh, the marsh here. Um, kind of like following the stream, trying to avoid any Holy Nation patrols. Haven't seen them yet, but uh, they like to patrol this area. And we have quite a long ways to go. We gotta go all the way through this uh, ravine, all the way down into the hub. So if we can make it through all of this, uh, carrying Riva and Digna, we might just make it. Digna is in trouble because she has no leg. Um, that means we have to carry her. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Reva almost lost her right leg as well. It's funny how they both almost lost their right leg. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna try to avoid any patrols under the cover of darkness. Well, we just discovered a holy farm. There's a large, a very large Holy Nation patrol right here. That uh, looks like we're bypassing. There's a holy farm up there. Uh, looks doesn't look like there's anything else around yet. So we're we're doing all right. Uh, once Apple's strength gets higher, right now it's at five, but the higher it gets, the faster she's gonna run, and they'll be running a little bit quicker. So, this is good uh, strength training for Apple. But, uh, yeah, we're not going to put down Riva or Digna because both of their right legs are tarnished. Um, oh, wow, we got a big patrol up here as well. I think. Uh, no, those are River Raptors, never mind. Alright, I think we're good. Yeah, just keep going along the road. We've almost made it out of this territory. Uh, the coast looks clear for the most part. Let's just keep moving. Uh, the other thing we need to worry about is bone dogs, which like to kind of roam around this area. Oh, hungry bandits. Uh, oh boy, okay. We got hungry bandits over there, so let's try to bypass them if possible. Looks like we also have Hungry Bandits over there as well. Wow. This is going to be... This is kind of like the Crossroads area. I like to call it the Crossroads because it's... You get uh, Hungry Bandits, Escape Slaves, Escape Servants, and uh, Holy Nation all in this one area. So, got to be careful. And Bone Dogs. If we can just slip by these guys, would be awesome. All right, yeah, we're just gonna sneak through. They're gonna fight some bone dog or some bulls, maybe. I don't know. Kind of funny they don't fight bulls and they're hungry bandits. You'd think they'd fight anything. Alright. Continue on. We're doing good. We're almost there. If we can just get through this, this rough spot, we'll be alright. Okay, so funny thing is we, uh, we're coming down this road here, and I just noticed in the distance, look who we see. Slave traders. Apple has, uh, 13 hours remaining on her undiscovered ex-slave, so we need to go back the other way here. If they see her, they will probably recognize her, and, uh, that could be bad, so let's go back this way. Try to avoid them if possible. There's also a uh, tech hunter guy out here just kind of roaming around. 
But uh, we are very close. We're, th we're within range, so if we can just uh, get to the hub from here, we'll be all set. Alright, we finally made it to the hub. Wow, I can't believe it, honestly. We went from all the way over there, over to here. It's, it's kind of amazing how large the world is. It took literally a long time. I kind of cut between spots, uh, as you know. Um, because the traveling just takes way too long if I were to just watch, uh, if I were to just throw that all in with the video. So I like to cut out a lot of the traveling because um, it's a very large world. And to get from point A to point B could take 20 minutes. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we got here. We met up with our other squad, which is great. Uh, it looks like everybody is starving here. We got to get some food. That's going to be crucial. We're going to have uh, Pia do some scouting out here and see if we can find him. Yeah, that's a big nest. There's a ring saber, a ninja blade. Really big nest, though. I don't know if we could take them. Let's have Pia lead a few out here. Okay, let's see if we can just take one at a time, and uh, if we can just take down a few, at least we'll get enough food to, to last a little while. Alright, attack, Pia. Wow, 31 damage. Unbelievable how much damage those things do. And that's a that's a baby b wolf. That's a baby wolf. The big ones do even more damage. It's taking all of us to take it down. Wow. Okay, hold on. Okay, we got another... Uh, we just aggroed another one. Okay. Alright, everybody heal up. Alright, doesn't look like we did. Okay. Alright, let's. Uh, we got three meat. Not bad. <laughs> it looks like we. Me and Darth ate the raw meat. <laughs> oh, damn it. Alright, well, we're gonna have to kill more of them. Alright, Pia is down for the count. She's. Her left leg is hurting already. Alright, hold on. Let me, uh. Let me move squads back together. Combine these squads. There we go. If we could run and grab those ninja blades and stuff, that would be pretty ideal. Who's fast? Uh, let's see, who's fast? How fast is Hobbs? Or, uh... How about Reva? Need somebody with really high athletics. Damn, Pia was our girl. Alright, I should be pretty fast now. All right, let's hope, let's hope I'm fast enough. Oh, I'm gonna sneak in. Give me that ninja blade and the animal skin. How do they not even see me? Holy shit, I'm like invisible. Wow, they don't even see me. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, I just looted that entire nest. Okay, well, that works. Alright, well, we got ourselves a, uh, let's see, ring saber. Uh, yeah, ring sabers, 46. 
It's 47. Okay, let me go back in and see if we can kill a few more. Alright, yeah, three is good. Two or three. There we go. Just two. Just aggro two of them. Hold on, guys. Wait for him to get up here. Alright, attack all. Oh my goodness. Uh, Pia? Get in here, man. Reva? <laughs> Nice, somebody hit that with a crossbow. Oh, dodge, uh, Hobbs dodged that, I think. That looked really cool. All right, good job, good job. Oh wait, oh no, oh no. Okay, time to run. It is time to run, fellas. Hold on, everybody run up there. <laughs> Darth, loot this, uh, this corpse real fast. Alright, nice. Let's get out of here. Everybody run as fast as you can. There we go. Alright, cool. We killed a couple of them, and... We didn't aggro the rest. Not bad. We're we're holding off hunger for now, but uh, people are starving. We don't have a lot of money. Um, we're gonna have to do something fairly soon. <laughs> a leg at some point. So we're just not powerful enough to take out the entire nest, which is kind of a problem right now. We need to make some money. I guess what we'll do is uh, we'll have to go back and resort to some mining here. Uh, just to get us some food to keep everybody alive for now. Because that's really the biggest problem. Uh, is food right now. But uh, so far we're doing pretty good. We got ourselves a group of 11. So uh, we'll do some renaming. Hopefully maybe in the next episode if we can make enough money to uh, join, the, uh, uh, join the ninjas up here. Uh, Shinobi Thieves will be able to rename people uh, So that'll be pretty cool you guys can follow along with your characters I am going through and adding you guys as uh, we need more people um, But I'm gonna keep the groups kind of small until we start losing people um, so that we can kind of uh, You know enjoy the adventure of that group and, and then uh, add more as as uh, the numbers start to dwindle so uh, We'll be doing some more riskier types of things in the future but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you want to see more Kinchi Iron Man in the future, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time. Take care.